Hello everyone, welcome once again. My name is Logan and this is Decode Your Reality. Today I'm going to be breaking down and decoding the Gnostic Demiurge called Yaldabaoth. So be Yaldabaoth decoded and got a lot of strong ties to this character here. Folks, you've been following this research. You know what Yaldabaoth is. If you don't know what Yaldabaoth is, then, you know, I'd suggest just kind of going and Googling it and, and studying it and getting yourself familiarized because it is the Gnostic Demiurge, the one that runs this world, which might even be the virus that's inside our world that's kind of feeding off humanity. I've said so many times that man is being used. We're being used for energetic food. And I've shown it so many times with supporting evidence using these modalities that I that I use that that's exactly the case. You know, and how do we really get out of that element of being used? That's the big question. So before we get started, let's go through the topics of conversation tonight. Starting off at the zero position, the intro and the methods of decoding. Number one, we're going to be getting into theology, Isaiah 45, verses 7. What does the Bible have to do with Yaldabaoth? Well, you're going to find out. Number two, the number 29. Number three, the puppet master. Number four, the wizard of Vatican. Number five, the holy C, number six, the World Health Organization and the CDC. What do those organizations have to do with Yaldabaoth? And then seven, of course, you know, I'd like to know what you observed during this presentation. So feel free to leave your comments. Love to hear from you. So the first topic of business here is the methods to decoding. And for those of you that are new, welcome. And I've said so many times before, this is like putting a puzzle together. You see, folks, typically most decoders will use numerology or call it gematria. They'll call it gematria. But there's so many different outputs that you can get and so easy to connect things. That's why you got to connect it to other layers to get the more defined story of what we're looking at in this world. So notice, you know, the word Vatican equals the number 21 in the Chaldean numerology, which is the oldest known numerology cipher on the planet. You should be using this one. If you're not, I'm not sure why. And that's linked to the 21st card in the deck of the Cards of Illumination, a typical poker deck. It has 52 cards. I've been showing this over and over. Your birthday has attributes to these cards. There are 52 cards matching the 52 weeks of a solar lunar year. There are 13 cards per suit, the ace through king, matching the 13 weeks of each season. And then there are four suits matching the four seasons. These are directly embedded into nature and, of course, tied into numerology to get another layer to observe and get into more defined, accurate rendition of how this matrix is working. So the eight clubs card is the 21st card in the deck, matching that of the word Vatican. And then we get into the third layer, which is the tarot, the ancient tarot system, which is an offshoot of the cards of illumination. These came first, according to history. These came second. And the eight wands card, the eight of wands here, the wands means clubs. So these cards are directly connected with one another. The Eight Wands card is the 29th card in the deck. And then we can follow into another layer, a fourth layer, to connect again, and that is alchemy. The elements of the periodic table. Notice the 29th element is copper. Copper. And then, of course, let's go right back to numerology. And now we have the word Yaldabaoth, the Gnostic Demiurge, which is what this whole presentation's on. That in the Chaldean equals the number 29. So it's a match of copper's 29 protons. 
And then we can get another observation by going to the medicine cards. There are 52 cards in the deck of the medicine cards. And then instead of using symbols or, you know, suits or, you know, all these photographs and pictures like the tarot has, it uses animals to give its renditions to. And the 29th card is the badger card. Now, again, we're talking about Yaldabaoth, which we follow this all the way back. It started with the Vatican. We're talking about decoding Yaldabaoth. What's so significant about this badger card? Well, folks, if you go to advanced soul recovery here, and this is out of the book, the medicine card book, but I want you to notice what the title is of this card. Aggression. It says the badger is vicious and attacks with powerful aggression. The badger is quick to anger and quicker to pounce. So when you observe these that describe the badger, I want you to keep that in mind as we follow into this presentation of Yaldabaoth, the Gnostic Demiurge that they claim run this matrix reality. And I say is the virus in the matrix reality. And it leads this organization right there. Make no mistake about it. It runs the Vatican City. For sure. So those are the methods, folks. Let's get into the Yaldabaoth character. And, you know, I wanted to really throw in this movie Prometheus. The 2012 movie. If you haven't seen this movie, you should check it out. There's a great significant scene to this movie. And that this is at the very end and this alien-like octopus, which is what Yaldabaoth is described as, the octopus, it jumps on this figure right here. Who wants to really destroy man? And it impregnates this figure, and then out pops the alien, and that's where that series comes from. Remember, alien, octopus, aggressiveness. And it's called, the character is called, this octopus is called the trilobite. Which, if you study that word, it's, it's linked to 250, 300 million year ago species that are fossilized. But nonetheless, it's called the trilobite in the, in the movie. Notice the outcomes that it has. And we're going to be getting into this right there for sure. And notice, you know, it's a direct match of Yaldabaoth itself, 29. And they, it's an octopus in the show, folks. And there's the direct match of Trilobite and Yaldabaoth. So it's telling us a story, loud and clear, folks. Loud and clear. Let's get into theology. The Isaiah 45, verses 7. I've broken this down. I actually have a decode, I think, on this just scripture itself. And we're talking about biblical now. The Torian Bible, by bull. That means two bulls. You know, the zodiac sign Taurus has two horns. The Bible, it's Venus and Taurus. That equals the number 47, just tetragrammaton. But anyway, this scripture says it all. It says, you know, I make peace, create calamity. I form the light, create darkness. This is what this energy is claiming that it's doing. And of course, you know, it all leads back to the ancient Israelite God of the Bible, the yod heh vah -Heh. The Tetragrammaton, which is the box that we're in. In the original Hebrew, the scripture, here it is laid out. It's a master number 44, has 44 letters, which is linked to the heart chakra. Notice it's a 455 outcome. And when you go into the string of pi, because here's the other layer that you should, if you're a decoder and you're not using pi, I, what are you waiting for? Connecting your numerology outputs to pi will tell you and give you another layer. Remember, there's only one way to observe pi, not two and three. There's like 20 different ciphers in numerology that people are using, and they think they got it all figured out. There's only one way to observe pi. One way. That's it. String of pi. Notice the 455. It appears at the 808th decimal digit of pi. That 88 comes up again, which is tied to yttrium and time travel, back to the future, 
the flux capacitor, the snake's tongue. It's all connected, folks. All of it. And I'm bringing this scripture into this presentation, folks, because you see, the Bible's not what you think it is. Now, I know there's probably going to be some people listening to this presentation that fancy the Bible, and that's okay. I'm not here to tell you what to believe. I'm just here to show you what's hidden behind the scenes. So then you can make a more conscious decision on what you want to believe. Isaiah 45, 7, when you do the alchemology, what is alchemology? Alchemology is the blending of alchemy and numerology. So numerology first. Notice Isaiah 45, 7 is a six, has six letters. Actually, it has more than that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. And we take these individual numbers tied to the individual letters, and then we bring it into alchemy. Alchemology. And then we add up all these individual elements tied to Isaiah 45, 7, and we get the number 138.966. Now, I want you to make really good note on this here, folks. You see, it leads to this element right here. Lanthanum, the 57th element. 57 is all over Back to the Future. If you watch the movie, you'll see it over and over embedded into that movie. Lanthanum has one weight of 138. And the meaning of it, the word itself, means to lie hidden. To lie hidden. And this is where the Aldabaoth character comes into play. Notice, you know... Let's start out down here in the bottom right-hand corner. The word Yaldabaoth is a 29. And then when you go in the top left, that's a direct match of the word Draconian. Now again, notice I'm only using one numerology cipher to connect my dots. Makes it a lot more challenging, but it defines the story because we're using one layer. Yaldabaoth and Draconian are both 29s. And then, of course, I showed this. Copper, the element copper is 29, has 29 protons, tied to Boaz and Yachin, the temple, Jerusalem, Israel, it's Kabbalah, Freemasonry, it's all tied together. And you know, that's what's running the show on all these organizations, all of them, this Yaldabaoth character. And, you know, even... In numberempire.com, the number 29 is it's the 10th prime number. And this little symbol here, that's the Yod, the 10th letter in the Hebrew alphabet, which is all about the Old Testament, is the Yod. The 10th letter is the Yod, and this is the Yalda. Yod, Yalda. They're connected directly. When you bring in the string of pi, folks, 29 decimal digits past the three point, this is the other way to measure pi. Add up all those digits, 29 digits from Draconian, from Yaldabaoth, it equals the number 138. And there is the connection once again to the element that means to lie hidden, Lanthanum, number 57. It's also directly tied to the character Lucifer and the element Nickel, which is the 28th element. So, you know, we keep going on this Yaldabaoth character. The 29, when, we, when you go into the string of pi, where does it appear in the string of pi? And we added up the 29 digits in the string of pi. Now we're going to say, where is it located at? There it is right there. And it occupies two spaces because 29 is a compound number. It starts at the 186th decimal digit, but it also occupies the 187 right there. So if you add up 186 plus 187, you're going to get this outcome right there. The number 373. And notice, folks, how big of a deal the prime number is, that 373 is. It's the 74th prime number, which is the element tungsten, which means illumination. The letter W, as it's actually called Wolfram, that's why it has the letter W there. 
The letter W is the 23rd letter in the alphabet. 23 is linked to the words crown, blood, and history. Big time words in our vocabulary. So it should tell you what you should be leaning towards as to what you believe that's running this matrix and the words we use and the spells we cast. And then that's linked to the element arsenic, because arsenic has an atomic weight, only one of 74.922. What age was the Christ crucified at? The age of 33. How many vertebrae do you have in your back? 33, the 33 steps. Folks, they're all linked together. There is no separation point of them. None. They're all connected, all of them. So we get into the puppet master. Who's the puppet master? I did an article on this. A lot of you commented. The puppet master. Folks, as I said, man, we're being used. I don't know to what extent. Maybe when you become aware of that, maybe you shift sides. You know, maybe you're then being used by the, the light worker angels. Because there's angels and demons. Good cop, bad cop. There's duality in our matrix reality. And maybe when you become consciously aware, you shift sides and then the reins get moved over to another energy that's going to control you. I don't know. I'm just kind of theorizing here on that. But I know man is being freaking used. I've shown it over and over. And until can somebody can prove me wrong, I know this has merit. Notice that the word puppet master, I'm sorry, the word Yaldabaoth, when you break down the alchemology of Yaldabaoth, who I believe is the puppet master, has a lot of henchmen working for it, but it's the puppet master. The It's, it's a 10 letter word too, matching that of the 10th letter in the Hebrew alphabet, the Yod. Yaldabaoth is 10 letters, there's the 10 elements, the alchemology going to the trusty calculator is 58.087. 58 on the masculine side. That's a direct link to Lucifer again. Because Lucifer's alchemology is 58. 58 is Lucifer's. And then when you take the two elements, this is another way to observe it. Take the two elements, 58 and 87. You can observe it that way. But I want you to notice that 58 is cerium and there's that 39 hanging around it's a higher form of the 39 the one before the 39 means it controls the 39 it's 139 so it's a higher form of the 39 and cerium is the god of agriculture if you study the the the, the greek mythology on that it's the god of agriculture the storm god, lightning, electricity. And this character is tied directly to it. Copper is highly conductive, electricity. Let's go a little bit further. What happens when we add up these two elements we got from Yaldabaoth's al uh, alchemology? I mean, Puppet Master is a 58 as well. Going back here again, this is Yaldabaoth's alchemology. 58.087, there are the two. And Puppet Master's 58. So when we add up these two elements using the trusty calculator, we get the number 362.925. And in the string of pi, the 362 begins at the 508th decimal digit there's that 58 once again so as you can see folks see this defines and supports numerology you can have so many outcomes with numerology man and some of you go gangbuster crazy with it and you think you got it all figured out i'm throwing a wrench in that because i call bullshit on that because there's no way you can figure it out just using numerology absolutely impossible too many outcomes. Being fooled. Puppet Master 58, where, where does that appear in the string of pi? Right there, it appears at the 10th and 11th 
decimal digit of pi 10 plus 11 equals 21 i mean notice the 10 and 11 right there yaldabaoth in the english is 89 that's the 11th fibonacci number 10's the yod 10 and 11 58 puppet master 21 the word cerium the element cerium that's linked to puppet master is 21 and it's linked to the string of pi where 58's found so you can see folks it, this is clear and convincing evidence the opinion that i'm showing here has more support and merit than just using numerology and gematria it blows my mind people think that Notice now we're going to get into the Vatican. Vatican is run by Yaldabaoth. Oh, make no mistake about it. it may, I mean, you could say, you know, the serpent people and the reptilians. I decoded the Pope. I mean, it's pretty clear. But who do you think's running that? Yaldabaoth. The Vatican is 21. Saturn's 21. Now, you know, a lot of people, oh, there it is. It's Saturn. It's Father Time. That's, you know. You can't just stop there, though, folks. That's the throat chakra of Yaldabaoth. If you're going by chakra points, Saturn is five, the slippery snake. Five is in the shape of a snake. Saturn's the fifth planet. It's blue, runs the sky, runs the water. Most dominant color in nature. Notice the string of pi. 21 appears at the 93 and 94th decimal digit of pi. I mean, Saturn equals 93 in the English. So there's another tie-in to right there. And again, you know, Vatican is... You do realize the Vatican runs over... It's in control of over 1 billion people. That's, you know, the United States and Great Britain, they all bow to the Vatican. The Pope has so much freaking power that you don't even know about. And of course, you know, where are the, Jes the Jesuits are the henchmen of the Vatican. Like the Knights, the Knights Templar, and that's where the masonry comes from. Then you get the Black Pope, and you got the Grey Pope, and all these other hidden secret societies within a society. But man's being used. They're just carrying out orders. They're not calling the shots. So notice it's 93 and 94. If you add up 93 and 94, you're going to get the number 187. That's linked to the element osmium, the wizard of Oz. That's how you pronounce this, osmium. Well, guess what, folks? You see, the Nephilim, the fallen angels, that story is directly linked to the 76 and the 67. It's mirror. I'm going to be decoded. I've already decoded. I'm doing it again. Folks, I mean, it's possible we're the offspring of these angels that came down here. Where do you think we got our start from? Ain't from what the, the story in the Bible in Genesis, I can tell you that. Ain't, ain't from that story. Because how do you get all these ethnic backgrounds from two different, two of the same people? If, if the world started with Adam and Eve, how do you get Chinese people and Japanese people and Caucasians and African Americans and Indians? And how do you get all these different types from two of the same people it's not freaking possible use your common sense and logic and i'm just throwing this in there because you know we go back to the isaiah 45 7 i create light and darkness calamity i the lord do all these things yeah that lord's yelled about covid 19 through the english 72 63 if you don't reduce it down but more importantly COVID is 53 19 is 19. here are the two elements doing the alchemology of it the i adine tied to the tetragrammaton the i am that i am and then potassium 53 and 19 COVID 19. you say those two iodine potassium you get 189 you're going to get a, a osmium again Osmium has several weights. The Wizard of Oz, folks. The Wizard of Oz. Who is the Wizard of Oz? The Wizard of Vatican. 
You know, I mean, man's, man may be creating these things, but they're being used to create them. They're not calling the shots. You'd be ignorant person. If you think that man is actually calling the shots, you're completely ignorant. You're not doing your homework or research. I'm just laying it out there for you folks. You don't have to agree with me. I don't care, but I do more research than the average bear. And it just, it burns me, man. When I, I see people out there think they got it all figured out just by using numerology or dramatra. Oh, I, I know how it works. Yeah, this is how man's doing all these things. Man's not doing anything. Get that through your head, man. It's not doing anything. Normally, I don't use all these ciphers here. Because, again, it's easy to connect the dots. But, folks, I wanted to show this because this one really blew me away. You're not going to find this with many words. I've only found two words that has this kind of outcome. Two of them. Well, actually three, four, because the other two, I'm not going to show those now, but I want you to see Yaldabaoth. Look at the outcomes. English ordinal, 89. Full reduction, 35. Jewish, 83. I don't even use these. English Sumerian, 534. Septenary, 28. Chaldean, 29. Do you see all the outcomes? That's, that's why it's ridiculous. Like, oh, that I, it's three and this is one. How do, you, how do you wrap your mind around this and say you got to figure it out? When you get all these outcomes, some of you using these ridiculous reverse ones, and then you think you can see all the patterns because you connect, you simply connect the dots with numbers. Woo. Wow. That's so challenging. But I want you to notice the outcomes of Yaldabaoth are exactly the same as the word Holy See, which is the jurisdiction of the Bishop of Rome. The Vatican City is called the Holy See. And it is an identical mirror match of each and every one of these six ciphers. There's more. I didn't even include the other ones. But you're normally not going to... This is a rarity. A rare, like super rare rarity. Super rarity. And look at the outcomes. Do you know who's running the Vatican? It's this character right there. I guarantee it. That's who's running it. Proof's in the pudding. I mean, this is what they use on their, um, I could say their logo. It's the keys. It's a gold and a silver key. Gold and silver. The two metals, the precious metals, if you will. When you add up gold and silver, look at the outcome you get, folks. Alchemology, I mean alchemy. 303, 33, 30, 33. 33. I mean, here's the flag. There's significance with the yellow and the white there. Yellow indicates our solar plexus. The sun, our son of God. That's why they use Jesus. Did you ever wonder what, wait a minute, the Vatican, they're run by, wow, they're run by reptilians and the Yaldabaoth, but they use the Jesus character. And that's kind of weird. This is, the character is not what you think it is. And it feeds off your energy when you praise it. As beautiful as it is. So the Holy See in Latin, the original spelling of it, is this combination of words right here. Sancta Seeds. I think that's how you pronounce it. And remember, I showed this 110 in the beginning. Remember the word that represented the tribalite from Prometheus? There it is, the 110. And the 37. And I, you know, and if you watch my Jack in the Box decode, my Alice in Wonderland decode, the 37's all over the place. I mean, this is the card of the United States of America. July 4th, 17, this is the July 4th card, 74, 7.4, 74 74 tungsten, illumination, tied to Yaldabaoth. This is the, we're the Jack in the Box, stuck in the box in the Tetragrammaton's box. You know, in the string of pi, it, it encompasses the tree of life and tree of knowledge that are talked about in theology, that this group worships, that this group pushes. So, and again, it doesn't matter if you're a Baptist, a Christian, a Catholic, Protestant, it, they all are using the same spell book. 
All of them. And that energy is getting harvested and being fed upon. Man's being used for energetic food by Yaldabaoth. 37 appears at the 46th decimal digit of pi and the 47. And the tree of life and the tree of knowledge in the original spelling of the Old Testament through the Hebrew, the tree of life is 46. The tree of knowledge is 47. There's no differentiation point, folks. But yet the story tells you the biting of the apple is what made man fall into sin. There's holes in that story. What about that 110? That appears at the 174th decimal digit of pi. 174 is tied to this element alone on the periodic table. Lutetium. Lucy, Lucifer, Lutetium. If you study mainly P. Hall, Lucifer's number is 741. Doesn't have to be in that combination. Pretty crystal clear here what it's saying. And you'll notice, you know, the word Catholic is 71. It's a no-brainer right there. It's a no-brainer. But that Lucifer character is tied to the Yaldabaoth character. It's tied to it. It's owned by it. And then Catholics 27, which, you know, that's the Ace Diamonds card, which is one of the Freemason cards. They're all connected, folks. Oscar Wilde said it best. He said, everything popular is wrong. Something gets popular, it typically is wrong. Don't be a follower. Be a leader. Follow your own kingdom inside of you. Look at the founding date of Vatican City. February 11th, 1929. There's the 29 again. 19 is battery. The 1 and 9, battery equals 19 or 91. So it's battery to the 29. 29 is Yaldabaoth, folks. And then when you get into the cards of illumination, this is what tells a more deeper and more fitting of the story. The February 11th card is the 40th card in the deck. It's the Ace Spades card, which is the seed planter on the earth. This card means earth. It means planting seeds. And what do seeds do when you water them? They grow. That's what this card is for. Death and regeneration. Wipes away the old old and makes way for the new. The the 40th element tied to the 40th card tied to the founding date of the vatican city is the element zirconium and its most abundant weight is 89.905 89 that's tied to the character yaldabaoth you know the, the royal society of chemistry has so many nuggets inside their web i don't even think they even know that they're there because man's being used Unless you're conscious of it. But this is the this is the uh, little picture they use. They use a picture for every element. There it is. It's the dung beetle. That's where the the the, 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 the great band, the beetles, that's what they're this is what they're tied to. This is what they're tied to, folks. Yaldabaoth. That's what they are pledging to. Yaldabaoth. That's what they were singing about. Yaldabaoth. Yeah, yeah, they sang Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, but who, who do you think owns Lucy? Yaldabaoth. And it's death and regeneration. The dung beetle. Go study the dung beetle and what it's all about. And these guys have a dung beetle card tied to their founding date? It's the Ace of the, the infamous Ace of Spades. I mean, Motorhead, the band Motorhead sang the song Ace of Spades. You can even decode the lyrics of that and the release date of that, and you'll find some nuggets in there. But it's pretty crystal clear how all these things are tied together and there's the 29 and the founding date, folks. Make no mistake, this is why it was founded on this day. And this card is huge in our matrix reality. Why is that? Because you see, folks, the World Health Organization and the Center for Disease and Control, both of their founding dates, even though they were different, they both have the Ace Spades card as their founding date. 
How about that? And these guys are supposed to be working for the people? This group is supposed to be working for the people? They're not working for you. They're working against you. And we're here to expose that. But they're just doing their job. Like this dude right here. You may not like this guy, but he's just doing his freaking job. The superhero wouldn't have a job unless there was a villain and vice versa. So the best thing we can do when we become conscious of all these things is not to judge because that's the first thing you're going to want to do is judge. Judging is the worst thing you can do because you don't stand in neutrality when you judge. You end up giving energy to these people and that's exactly what they want. They'll take the energy. You just observe. And say, okay, this this is what you're playing. You're playing these cards. You're doing this, you're doing... Oh, okay, cool. I mean, these guys right here, that's the 47. April 7th is 47. Here's 71. That's Lutetium. So you just got to observe. I mean, you know, this is... <laughs> I mean, right there, Ace Spades, 33. 33, folks. You know, tied to Yaldabaoth. I mean, there's Leviathan, right? The Crooked Serpent, right there. It's right on their... This is their logo, the World Health Organization. This is their logo. You gotta study that snake. You gotta study that snake, folks. So what is it that you saw during this presentation, folks? Went over a lot of material. Could have Again, I have so much more I could keep going, but, you know, the average time... People spend watching these videos 13 minutes. That's it. That's the analytics on my videos. That, that, that just tells you people are not, in, they're not interested in this stuff. They don't want to, they don't want to really know what, how it really works. I do. Maybe if you've made it this far, you do too. Congratulations. I feel this, this research and discoveries are some of the most important things you'll ever discover in your own personal life. Read and knowing who you are. You should be watching my video, How to Decode Yourself, knowing who you are, what makes you tick, why are you here. Some of you need confirmation. Some of you are superstars and you're not even acting like your part. But if you figure it out and you decode yourself, then you start stepping into that space and you own that space and you become part of a larger thing outside of what you think your life is. Well, anyway, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decoder Reality. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so very much for watching.